Now the next thing is only focused on the Note 20 Ultra. So if you have the Note 20, you can fast forward a couple of seconds, but this is turning on the 120 Hz refresh rate. And when you have your phone enabled the first time, I don't think it's enabled the first time. So you're going to have to go enable it yourself. So what you want to do is you want to make your way back over to settings. As you can see, you want to go to settings. You want to go back into display. A lot of these things are within the display settings. And you want to scroll down until you find the screen and it's not screen, it's motion smoothness. You want to go ahead and click on that and you'll have a couple of different options. So you'll have 60 hertz and you have 120 hertz. So you can go ahead and keep that 120 hertz on, which is called adaptive. However, if you want to save battery life, as Samsung says here, you can go back to standard. And I'll be honest, it's worth it to just, you know, suck up the battery life and just use this. This is a really, really good feature. One of my favorite things about the Note 20, it makes the screen look that much smoother. The Galaxy S20 has had it, the OnePlus 8s have it, and it's a really cool thing, and I really, really do like that. So turning on the screen refresh rate up to 120 hertz is definitely one of my favorite things about this device.